The ability to quickly and efficiently perform assigned tasks in any given condition is the primary trait needed for any military equipment. Converter planes, also called tilt rotors, will be able to provide many different types of weapons in this regard. These machines' ability to carry out a wide range of missions has driven the military industry in various advanced countries to invest massive amounts of money into their development. In today's video, you'll find out the latest information about the Bell V280 Valor, how it works, and when it will enter service. A vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL craft refers, as the name implies, to a device that can perform vertical takeoff and landing, meaning aircraft that have the ability to hover in the air. The most famous example is the F-35B fighter, which can take off and land from a standing start aboard an aircraft carrier. There are two different types of VTOL technology, helicopter-based and mechanical lift. The helicopters are those that use the lift generated by propeller blades rotating around a central mast, i.e. helicopters, quadcopters, and gyrocopters. When flying, a slight tilt in the desired direction increases the thrust of the aircraft and directs it forward. In a separate subgroup, we've got the gyrodin, also known as a folding helicopter, since it has a helicopter propeller, but a separate front thrust system. Another type is the cyclogyro. On this one, the axis and surfaces of the rotary wing remain on the side across the airflow, like a conventional wing. Unlike conventional helicopters, vertical flight helicopters use more than two propulsion systems, which are called distributed propulsion systems. When properly applied, distributed traction can improve device safety by distributing critical functions across multiple components. Devices that use an aircraft lift system take off and land vertically, but operate differently than helicopters during flight. They're usually of a more conventional design similar to a fixed-wing aircraft. Examples include the tilt-rotor aircraft such as the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, which takes off and lands vertically, but uses a fixed-wing lift in normal flight. VTOL technology also allows the vehicles to land almost anywhere. This makes aircraft of this type more flexible and therefore capable of performing certain actions that are impossible for conventional aircraft. This type of flexibility serves as an enormous advantage for them in combat or rescue situations. Let's take a look at these devices in a bit more detail, using some specific examples. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is the world's first production tilt rotor with vertical, short takeoff and landing v -STOL capabilities. Unlike any previous aircraft, the V-22 successfully combines the capabilities of helicopters in vertical flight. Thanks to the use of a rotary propeller, the Osprey can take off and land like a helicopter, but with its speed, range, altitude, and sustainability, it can keep up with winged aircraft. In fact, during flight, it turns into a turboprop aircraft. The aircraft's rotors can be folded and the wings can be rotated so it can be stored on an aircraft carrier. The Osprey's versatility allows it to be used in multiple roles, including carrier onboard delivery and vertical onboard delivery, COD, VOD, humanitarian aid, disaster response, amphibious operations, special operations, personnel recovery, and medical evacuation. Three configurations of the Osprey exist to fulfill a wide range of the above purposes. These are already being used by three branches of the U.S. military, the Marine Corps, the Navy, and the Air Force. Bell is also studying its design for possible civilian use. The V-22 has two large rotors with three blades that rotate in opposite directions, creating lift. Since the propellers rotate in opposite directions, a tail rotor is not required for stability, as in a helicopter. The wing tilts the rotors between airplane and helicopter modes and generates lift in airplane mode. When the Osprey is ready to take off, its rotors are set in a vertical position. With wing-mounted rotors, it looks like a two-bladed helicopter. When the Osprey is in helicopter mode, taking off, landing, and hovering, the rotors create lift. During flight, Osprey rotors are lowered to a horizontal position. In this position, 
The wings create lift, like with traditional aircraft, and the rotors function in the same way as in propeller-driven aircraft. The V-22 lands like a helicopter, reversing the process by raising the rotors from horizontal to vertical. The Osprey can seamlessly transition from helicopter mode to airplane mode in a mere 12 seconds. The V-22's cockpit can accommodate two pilots. Additionally, there is a jump seat for the flight engineer in the center behind the pilots. The instrument panels have multi-function displays, similar to the new glass cockpit of a spaceship. The displays contain engine information, such as oil pressure, temperature, and hydraulic pressure, as well as flight information, such as fuel, engine position, and performance. There are also keyboards used to interact with the onboard computer and sticks to control flight maneuvers. The Osprey is equipped with multi-band radios, AM, FM, UHF, VHF, for voice transmission and radio reception. It also has navigation beacons and radios, radar altimeters, and an internal intercom radio system for communication between the crew and troops on board. The V-22 has 16 fuel tanks, 10 built into the wings and 6 in the fuselage. The tanks need a direct supply to the engines with fuel from other tanks, the transfer of fuel being automatic. As fuel drains from the tanks, pressurized nitrogen refills them to reduce the chance of a fire. Depending on the configuration of the Osprey, it can hold between 1,450 and 3,640 gallons of fuel. Frequently deployed on U.S. Navy landing craft, the Osprey is most commonly used to bring military personnel and equipment from ships to shore. In addition to a crew of three, the V-22 can carry 24 soldiers or up to 20,000 pounds of internal cargo. The vehicles utilize Rolls-Royce Liberty engines. They can reach a maximum speed of 322 miles per hour and fly 920 miles continuously. It's also armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. The Osprey's advantage over other aircraft is that it can take off, hover, and land like a helicopter. This makes it more versatile than aircraft for missions such as moving troops to remote areas, especially those with no landing strips, or conducting long-range maritime rescue missions. These capabilities have been useful in places like Iraq and Afghanistan where airstrips are not available and long-range mobility is key to mission accomplishment. On December 18, 2018, the first demonstration flight of the new generation Tilt Rotor Bell V280 Valor took place. It's being considered as a multifunctional flying device for the Army, USMC, and SOCOM, capable of performing numerous missions like assault, service, attack, search and rescue, combat, and medical evacuation. A prototype was created as part of the U.S. Army's Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator Program. It spent the past three and a half years testing the service's requirements for the Future Long Range Attack Aircraft, or FLRAA. Under the program, the advanced V-280 tilt rotor has logged 214 hours in the air and achieved a number of ambitious speed and maneuverability goals set by the Army. According to a statement made by the company, five different Army test pilots flew the V-280 over 15 stories. The company used feedback from the Army pilots, mechanics, and infantry units to further improve the device. It was reported that during the tests, the tilt rotor made an automatic vertical takeoff and hovered, climbed on takeoff, then switched to cruising mode. It demonstrated automatic navigation to a waypoint, pausing over the target, switching to helicopter mode by rotating the nacelles, approaching a certain hovering point, and then made an automatic vertical landing. The Bell V-280 Valor is operated by a crew of four and typically carries 12 troops. It can carry infantry 450 nautical miles in one hour and 50 minutes while the current Black Hawk would take more than five hours to complete the same task, including two stops at forward weapon stations and refueling. The combat range of the V-280 without refueling is more than 500 nautical miles, the cruising speed exceeds 320 miles per hour, and the maximum speed is 345 miles per hour. It's currently superior to any other competing technology, 
This extra speed translates into battlefield mission flexibility, greater range to access global challenges, and faster medical care to increase the survival rate of wounded personnel on the battlefield. It's one of several prototype flying devices whose successors will compete to become the future long-range attack aircraft, FLRAA. The V-280 is competing with Lockheed Martin, Sikorsky, and the Boeing Defiant X to begin replacing the Army's fleet of UH-60 Blackhawks in 2035. The US Army must make its choice soon. The V-280 configuration leans on all the lessons learned by the US military from 650,000 hours of test flights of previous projects, building on the experience gained from the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. Valor takes the tilt-rotor concept one step further. The V-280's engines remain stationary, with only the drive shafts and rotor blades tilting, unlike the pivoting Osprey nacelles. A simpler design reduces the overall weight of the structure and has a positive effect on reliability. V-280 also uses digital design development and a digital service concept. All the maneuvers were performed on a V-280 simulator to test both the aircraft's software and flight controls. The V-280 is an aircraft that spends 85% of its time flying at high speed using its fixed wings, these cost drivers being greatly minimized. For the V-280, the boxes are about the same size, and the total number of blades is less than even the Blackhawks while the V-280 has a slightly wider footprint than the Blackhawk, this also allows the V-280 to be over 20% shorter and, importantly, not have open rotors on the leading and trailing edges of that trail. This area provides flexibility with the landing area and improves the safety of soldiers in a 360-degree radius around the aircraft, which is unique for the V-280 configuration. With the usual tilt of the propraters, actions in the landing zone and beyond do not require mechanisms for coupling or disengaging complex propellers. The key here is that tilt rotor aircraft, once considered more complex than helicopters, are now the easiest way to achieve this unrivaled performance. The maturity of the tilt rotor has reached the point where it is a known technology with decades of risk reduction earned on a fully operational fleet rather than a few prototypes having only very modest flight hours over a similar period of time. The cost of the V-280 will be about $30 million per unit. Well, that's all we got for today. What do you think of this move being made in the realm of aviation escort of troops? Will converter planes and other types of VTOLs soon be able to squeeze out helicopters and other small aircraft, or is this just some fantasy? And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.